Hello student, I am Rajendri. Today in this lesson, we will study a poem, Rain on the Roof by Korskine. Now, it's my uh, dear students, it's my humble request to you to sit with your book so that you can mark your doubts and ask later. And you will understand much better this way. Okay, now, Rain on the Roof by Korskine. Rain, rain here, the... In this poem, the poet is discussing about the rain. Rain which is falling on the roof of the poet's rooms. Poet is lying in his room and the rain is falling on his roof. Now look at the stanza 1. When the humid shadow hovered over all the starry sphere and the melancholy darkness gently whips in rainy tears. What a bliss to preach the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the <coughs> patter of the soft rain overhead. Now look at the hard word of this hover. Hover means to move. Patter, patter, sound of rain. And melancholy means sad. So in this stanza, poet gives us a description of the scene outside the room. He says that there are huge clouds full of moisture moving around in the sky and the dark sky full of stars seems to be sad and it seems as if the sky is crying and the raindrops are the tears of the sky. Then the poet expresses his feelings. He says, I'm very happy when I'm lying on the bed and my head is on the pillow and I can hear the sounds of the raindrops falling on the roof of my room. So he feels very happy to hear the sound of the rain falling on the roof of this house. Now look at the stanza 2. Every tinkle on the single. Every tinkle on the singles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof. As I listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof. Now the hard word singles. Singles means wooden tiles. Excuse me. Singles. Singles means uh, wooden tiles which spread over roof. Okay. And echo means repeated sound. Fences means imaginations. And uh, air threads means dream. Now look at the description of this. These lines. In these lines. The, he, the poet is expressing his feelings that what kind of things does he feel when he hears the sound of the rain falling on the rooftop. He says every tinkle on the singles has an echo in the heart. So whenever he hears the sound of the rain falling on the rooftop, he hears a repeated sound in his heart and a thousand dreamy fancies. So as the poet is sleeping, he is dreaming. So in his dreams, he develops many different fancies, imaginations into busy being start. Busy being means human beings. Here poet is referring to himself. He says that this sound of rain fall on the rooftop creates many different different dreams in his mind. And a thousand recollections. Recollections means memories of the past. He also has the memories of the past which come back into the mind of, as dreams. So he says that as he listens to the patter of the rain upon the roof, he has many new dreams in his mind and memories of the past also comes in his mind like dreams. Now look at the stanza number three. Now in memory comes my mother as she used in years ago to regard the darling dreamers era. She left them till the dawn. Oh, I feel the feel her fond look on me. As I list to this refrain, which is played upon the singles by the pattern of the rain. Now look at the hard word, agon. Agon means, here ego means past. And here is also the past time, before past. Down is, down means early morning. And the refrain is the sound of rain here. Singles, the wooden tiles which spread over uh, roof. Now, in this stanza, the poet introduces his mother. He says that he is thinking of his mother as in the previous stanza that rain brings in memory of the past. 
जैसे इयर्स अगो पास में उनकी मदर वो उनको बहुत प्यार करते थे सी यूज टू कंसिडर हिम एज अ डार एंड सी लेफ्ट दैम टिल डाउन सी वुड लेफ्ट हिम स्लीप टिल अर्ली मॉर्निंग एंड द पोइट से दैट ही स्टिल फील्स हिज मदर इज लुकिंग एट हिम एज ही लिसन्स टू द म्यूजिक टू द सॉन्ग ऑफ द रेन विच इज प्लेड अपॉन द सिंगल्स बाय द पेट ऑफ द रेन सो द पोइट सेज दैट ही इज लिसनिंग टू द साउंड टू द रेन ड्रॉप विच फॉल्स ऑन द विच फॉल्स ऑन द रूफ ऑफ द रूम ही इज रिमाइंडेड ऑफ हिज मदर एंड द पास्ट हु इज नो लॉन्गर विद हिम एंड ही फील्स दैट सी इज लुकिंग Uh, she is looking him lovingly with affection because sound of rain can correlate his past with his present because even then at that time when his mother was there there was no same rain and uh, same song and that that is why the poet is touched by the raindrops on the singles of his rooms and it is reminding of him of his mother so with this we come to an end of this poem now your homework is your homework is learn plus write summary in your own words thank you